Okay guys, so um, this uh, non-metal video, as you can see I'm not wearing anything metal. Um, gonna be reacting to the whole Palestine, Israel thing, all that. So first things first, I'm not on either side of it, it's all just complicated, it's, uh, you know, there are those type of things where you're like, oh, here we go again. And, uh, well, let's see, uh, so yeah, you guys remember, um, like, last year and so, uh, the whole Ukraine thing, people gave a shit about it because it's, it's fucking Europe, because, uh, you know, things like that don't happen in Europe, so, you know, of course, people are gonna, um, be actively showing their concern. And people are like, oh, well, uh, you guys don't give a shit about uh, people in Kenya or um, Somalia and all that. And, you know, it's like, uh, no, 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 it's not that we don't give a shit, it's that, uh, you know, with uh, those countries, it's been happening, uh, like, for a real long time, you know, poverty and killings and all that, and obviously people have been uh, helping out every way they can, but uh, hey, with Europe, um, you know, it's like helping out a neighbor, I mean, I'm in Europe, I'm in Spain, and of course, uh, like I said, it's like helping out a neighbor, um, and that's why people have shown uh, concern. And no, it's not because they're white and all that stuff. I, I've met a Ukrainian woman, and her skin was brown. Brown that you, you might think that she's from Syria. Just, I mean, just saying. Um, Yeah, I mean, the the media, for example, they can show a brown Ukrainian people, um, and, well, yeah. Okay, so yeah, the whole uh, Palestine and Israel thing, like I said, um, again, I don't take any sides, and... Uh, like I said, it's one of those things where you're like, here we go again, because we're always hearing of these countries, Palestine, Iraq, other countries in the Middle East, Arab countries, uh, we always hear of uh, something bad going on, or that they have some dispute with another country. So, yeah, and about the not taking sides or anything, it's because, you know, I think to myself, like, uh, you know, there may be bad people on both sides or something, because uh, for, the, for the people involved, the countries involved, someone should have done something bad, and I'm not talking about the citizens, uh, civilians and all that, I'm talking, of course, about people in the, in the governments. As I told a guy uh, in a protest that I saw a pro-Palestine protest. Yeah, I was on my way to a venue uh, where I was seeing the folk band Saurum. Yeah, I saw a protest and, uh, you know, I, I came up to them. I asked, like, hey, man, what's going on? What's all this? And he said it was a pro-Palestine protest and that I'm welcome to join. That was nice of him because uh, I know that in the U.S. Uh, I would have been met with, uh, you know, negativity. Being like, well, whose side are you on, man? And uh, who are you with? You know, thinking that I'm uh, part of a conspiracy theorist group or a conservative uh, channel or whatever or 
where you know uh, that they automatically uh, tell you that you're a racist and you know, a bigot and all that stuff. But no, this guy was uh, you know nice enough to say like, hey man, you're welcome to join us and all that. But uh, you know, um, eye for an eye, kindness was kindness, and I politely said like. I'm not on anyone's side, I just wish the best to the civilians, which uh, is my honest opinion on this. Um, just like the Ukraine and Russia thing, where uh, I've seen and heard that people haven't been too nice to Russian people, and it's not the... Uh, you know, the Russian civilians are not at fault. It's the fault of the government of Russia and government of Ukraine. So same with this, not the fault of the Palestinian people and not the fault of the Israeli people. The ones who are at fault are the two governments. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of it. That's all I gotta say for this, and yeah.